Well, yet another case of people taking law into their hands have come to the fore in the region. A rape accused succumbed to his injuries after he was thrashed by a group of locals over the allegations of raping a minor girl. The incident has been reported from Silkigri village in South Garo Hills district in Meghalaya. The 42-year-old accused hailing from Mankachar in Assam and married to a woman from the Silkigri village had already had allegedly raped a minor girl from the same village. The villagers, upon receiving information about the incident, caught the accused and thrashed the man before handing him over to the police. However, the severity of beating mean that the accused was struggling for the life upon reaching the police station. He was being immediately shifted to the Silke Grieve Public Health Center for treatment. However, he succumbed to his injuries on the way. Meanwhile, the police have launched an investigation into the entire incident and two cases have been registered by the police. While one case has been registered for rape under POXO Act, the other case has been registered in regards to lynching of the accused. Four persons have already been arrested in the lynching case and meanwhile, various civil society organizations in Meghalaya have condemned the lynching incident. Let's listen in. That took place in South Garo Hill is unacceptable. We as an organization stand against that such incident should not happen. But the lynching that also took place, where the community took the law in their own hands, required justice delivery system by law enforcement. So the community should engage law enforcement in such cases to intervene rather than taking the law in their own hands. It is very unfortunate that we have heard about a rape case in Garo Hills. Uh, and uh, also very unfortunate that uh, the people had to take law into their own hands, which is not uh, proper. And uh, uh, this seems to be all in frustration because there is no uh, justice delivered and uh, we want uh, immediately uh, uh, SCPCR should be appointed in Meghalaya as now we don't have one and they have put one interim SPCR that also from a government which should be independent uh, chairperson and I urge the people should not try not to take into their hands because if we go in the same way it means we are also trying to kill and uh, that will not be the right way and uh, please the government should immediately see that cases, rape cases, should within one year, cases should be heard.